usually for lunch I'll have a salad, and for dinner I eat whatever I want. What do you think the worst part of being blind is? <laughs> Excuse me? You know, if you were blind, what do you think the worst part of it would be? I don't know. I think it would be not being able to tell if there was bugs in my food. <laughs> How could you ever enjoy a meal like that? Constantly be feeling around with my lips and my tongue. Well, that's how my five-year-old eats. He's a very picky eater. You hear about that kid that was kidnapped the other day in Pennsylvania? No. No, he's at a carnival with his mother. She goes to get a hot dog. Next thing you know, she turns around, boom, he's gone. Oh. Imagine how sick a person has to be to do something like that. And these people are all over the place. You never know who's crazy. You have to be one of these people. Have you seen any good movies? Who takes care of your boy during the day? We have a woman. Why? No, no, I'm just saying. She had references. No, I'm sure she did. I'm sure they're impeccable. I'm talking about the ones of fortune. You don't think this is really helping? I don't live near here, you know? So she's giving me the massage, and I'm just making conversation. I don't like to talk during the massage. Neither do I, but I do it for them. I figure they're bored. Yeah, I do that too. I feel guilty about getting the pleasure. I feel like I don't deserve it, so I talk. It stops me from enjoying it. There's nothing to eat in here. <gasps> oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm in the middle of the story. Oh, OK, go ahead. Why don't you go shopping? Well, it's not like it's a really funny story or anything. What happened? Well, so she mentioned that she had a son. And then for some reason, I launched into the story about the kid from Pennsylvania who was abducted. Oh, wasn't that terrible? Yes, it was. Even an apple. She doesn't want to hear that. That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. I want this leftover Chinese food. Thank you. I can't believe you said that. Hey, would you stop it already? So, what'd she say? I don't know. She actually seemed to get a little paranoid. She was terrible. What is this, ginger? Hey, ginger, I can't understand how anyone can eat ginger. That's good masseuse you've got, Jim. No, she's really good. She's not just a masseuse, she's a physical therapist. There's a big difference. She uses the ultrasound. It's a real medical procedure. In fact, if you get a doctor's note, it's covered by insurance. <laughs> physical therapy is covered by insurance? Yeah. You don't have to pay for the massage? Not if you have a doctor's note. So where do you get this note? Well, I've never actually done it, but if I really wanted to, I could probably get one from my friend Roy, the dentist. Right, your friend Roy. 